Hello and welcome to this new and exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to set up a Shopify store on mobile. To set up a Shopify store on mobile, you will need to go to your Shopify store. And if you don't have that, you need to download the Shopify store app from Play Store. So here on Play Store, you click on Play Store. And then at the top here, you search for Shopify and then you notice we have it and then at the top here you search for Shopify and then at the top here you search for Shopify and this will take you to the Shopify app then you can log in if you have an account if you don't you click on get started with the Shopify app you can create your online store you can grow your audience and you can manage it from anywhere. So we are going to click on get started so that we can create a Shopify store. So you answer these simple questions. If you're just starting or if you're already selling online, I'll click on I'm just starting. You click on next. Where would you like to sell? Is it an online store? Is it in person? An existing website or blog or social media or these others? So whichever it is, you choose one. I'll choose an online store, then click on next. And then what do you plan to sell first? Is it products? Is it digital products? Is it dropshipping products? Is it services? So I'll click on products I buy or make myself and then click on next. And then where is your business located? You choose your country from the drop down list. You can even type it at the top here if you are in the USA if you are in Cameroon, whichever country it is, you just search. If you're just starting or if you're already selling online, I'll click on I'm just starting. You click on next. And then now you can create a Shopify ID. You sign up with an email. You can sign up with Apple, Facebook, or even with Google and sign up with an email. So you click on that, put your email there, and then your password here. And then you click on create Shopify ID. And then now you get the welcome to the best converting checkout. And now your Shopify account will be created. Now with Shopify store on your mobile, you can add your product. You can customize your online store. You can name your store. You can remove your password and you can also share your products. So to add your product, you click on add your product here. So you just click on that. And then you add the product title. Let me say I want to sell a laptop. So I'll type laptop there. And then I'll type the amount. Maybe I want it to be 50 or 500 US dollars. Then I can put all these others. And then after that, you click on the check at the top here, the tick, so that the price is set. So then we can now add the images. You want to add the image of the laptop you click at the top there and then you can now get what then you can now get where your image is and then i'll just take a photo of the laptop just that way click on the tick at the top and our laptop has been added there then you click on tick at the top there so and our image has been added our product has been added and it's still uploading we can now add these other details about our product here. We can add the description about our laptop in terms of maybe the specifications. Whichever product you are selling, it's important that you put the details about it there. So maybe this is a laptop. We want to put RAM. It is 12 GB. Hard disk, 1 TB, all that. You just put all those details depending on the product that you are selling. Then you click on the tick and the product is saved. And that is how you add products. So we'll click back. So we notice our product is already added and then we can customize our online store. You just click on customize your online store. And with this, you are able to set your password for your online store. You can customize how it looks like you can edit the spotlight. You can click on preferences down here, which gives you the chance to now add your homepage title. You enter a meta description. 
you can enter an image social sharing image preview will appear here and so you can just put all these details here maybe you give the name of the home page there and then you click on save that is what you can access under preferences and the settings have been saved now if we click back and you click on the three dots here on the bottom right corner you notice you have access to all these customers content analytics marketing discounts settings online store and point of sale you can access all this using your your shopify store for instance if i click on settings here you notice i can set my store notifications account notifications security language and all these but you notice under checkout i can also do my checkout here i can also set my payments here so you notice with that if i click on payments i'm able now to set my payment methods here you notice we have our paypal here the setup is yet to be completed i can add a new payment method here then i can add manual payment method here that's how you add the payment method then you can also set up your checkout if i click on checkout you notice that we can now edit our checkout customer contact method is it for number or email we can choose one and then we can show a link to download the shop app then for customer information what would be required if is it a full name or is it require first name and last the company is it recommended is it not you can set all this and once you are done you come down here and click on save down here so with that you'll have set your checkout so you can also access all these other things including notifications file languages you can also see your shop as an admin and with all these your shopify store will be ready for use you can also name your store down here you can give the store your name and then the last feature you can do here you can share your products if you click on share your products you notice our laptop image is the only one that is available here and then we can now share this product at the top here you notice we have the share button here so if i click on that share you notice customers can't buy products until you activate your checkout we have not activated our checkout but if we now want to share we click on share anyway and so now you notice i can now share my product directly from shopify store on mobile to whatsapp to facebook to brave to gmail to trello i can share that on messages so that's how you share your products from shopify store on mobile to any other platform i hope this has been helpful that is how you set up a shopify store on mobile kindly like this video share and subscribe to our youtube channel